Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic and welcome once again to my little fireside chat. <laughs> doing something a little different, okay, we're not going to be jumping around doing planks and pulling bands and throwing dumbbells around, okay. So tonight I want to talk to you about supplements. Um, nutrition is critical, guys. Matter of fact, you've probably heard me talk in some of my previous videos how I think nutrition is really 70% of the equation to getting really in shape and taking care of yourself. And supplements are a small percentage of that, okay? So they're not called primaries for a reason, they're supplements. And supplements are comprised of all kinds of little micronutrients, okay, and trace minerals that our bodies need to function. Well, one of those elements is called boron. And the question tonight is, can boron increase are free testosterone levels. So before I get into whether it can or not, I want to talk about free testosterone and how that's actually different from total testosterone. So most of the time when I'm talking about testosterone with you guys, I'm really just referring to total testosterone. Now the problem with that is 98% of the total testosterone that your body makes goes unused it gets stuck and it binds with these little protein molecules and your body can't really use it for building muscle and sexual performance and all the other things that we get pleasure out of with high testosterone levels. So the 2% that is not bound, okay, is called your free testosterone. And for most guys, those two things stay pretty much in sync, 98% and 2%. However, some people produce too much and it's called SHBG. It's called sex hormone binding globulin. Okay. And if your body just produces a little bit too much of that, guess what? It takes your total testosterone and it binds it, sex hormone binding globulin, and it binds it with these little protein molecules and your body really can't use that. So then you have even less free testosterone. Okay. So, in 2015, a study was done by the Integrative Medicine Journal, okay, and they specifically focused on boron and how it affects our levels of free testosterone. Well, guess what, guys? Really exciting results. In only one week of taking boron supplementation, the study group increased their free testosterone levels by 25%. Guys, that's fantastic. And they decreased their estrogen by 50%. So guys, that is considered a significant change in only one week. And the reason that's important, guys, is because it's the free testosterone that our bodies benefit so much from. So when we're lifting weights, we're tearing down muscle fibers. We're actually damaging our muscles. We're creating microscopic tears. Well, guess what? Your body sends signals to your brain, ramp up production of your testosterone, and it does, okay? However, it can only use that free testosterone, the 2% that's floating around in your bloodstream, and it uses that in those damaged muscle fibers to actually rebuild and repair those muscle fibers. And then, of course, they come back bigger and stronger than they were before you damaged them through your workout. So we do that over and over, week after week, month after month. Guess what? Our muscles slowly but surely get bigger. And we get stronger. The more muscle mass we have, the more calories we burn, and the less body fat we have. And one of the things you guys need to know about boron is we need it on a daily basis. It doesn't last in our bodies very long. We typically just process it and urinate it out. Our kidneys process it pretty quickly. So normally guys, we get, you know, small amounts of boron when we're eating things like broccoli and cauliflower and other cruciferous vegetables, okay? But we're getting tiny, tiny amounts. So even if we're eating a lot of good, healthy vegetables and getting other foods that have boron naturally occurring in them, we're still getting a small percentage of what we really could use to increase our free testosterone levels. And that, my friends, is around six to 10 milligrams of boron, boron on a daily basis, all right? So you're typically in your diet, you're probably only getting one or two milligrams of boron, which is not nearly enough to really experience the full benefits of what it can do for our free testosterone levels. All right, guys, hope you like this little fireside chat. I'm going to be doing more of these, okay? So it's not just about lifting weights and running around and jumping and getting your heart rate up, okay? There's a lot of 
knowledge that you guys need to absorb so that you can make the most out of every day when it comes to getting fit and getting back into shape. So hopefully you liked the video. Be sure and share it with some of your buddies. You got to subscribe to the channel, guys, and give us a little thumbs up like. And then finally, it ain't going to happen overnight. You know that, which means you have to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.